up, Huck Squad? I hope everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving and holiday. I have a really fun video for us today. About two weeks ago, I had a viewer, Melissa, reach out on Instagram and ask if her and her husband could send out a disc package. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I gave them my address for work and I was just expecting like one disc. What ended up coming in the mail absolutely blew my mind. Gigantic box of, I think like 20 discs. Yes, 20. They sent me all these discs. They sent a really nice note really heartfelt and it really just put into perspective how grateful I am for the Huck Squad, for all you guys, for just you two to be able to gift me all these discs was just like honestly way too much, way too nice and it just, I, I literally got like slightly emotional in the dining room of work when I was opening this package because I just, it blew me away, it really did. So I'm gonna go through these discs real quick and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jet over to a local uh, disc golf course, Hawkins Woods, and there's uh, it's a full 18 hole course, but it was established as a nine hole, so I think I'm only gonna play the front nine, but I'm gonna take all these discs and I'm gonna make a bag out of them. I'm gonna take every single disc out of my bag and I'm gonna play with only all these discs. Mostly Disc Mania, but there are some other discs in here. So we have two C-Line P3Xs. Next two are non-Disc Mania and they are two Crystal buzzes and it's been years since I've thrown a buzz like I used to throw a buzz OS on a forehand like Way 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 back in the day So it'll be nice to try out these buzzes crystal buzz and they just look like really nice They have two. I think they're TI undertakers it's Supposed to be like like a instinct I, I don't really know but it kind of feels like an instinct ish mold like a maybe like a Straight fairway driver, probably in like the 8-9 speed. I literally don't know. We have an MVP amp, and this one also has a really cool stamp. It's like a bomb with feathers, and I don't know, it's just a really, really cool stamp, so I like that one. It feels like it's gonna be good on a forehand, but I can't really tell. I have two Ace Line Prodigy putters, and I'm not even sure. They're actually P Model S's, so two Ace Line P Model S's. And I think what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm actually gonna putt with these. I haven't putt with anything other than a P2 in like three years, maybe more than that. And before that, I putt with a KC Pro AVR, which is very similar to a P2, just with a bead. But these are really shallow and they feel so much different. So I think what I'll do is I'll putt with these. Now we're getting into the Dismania stuff. There's a really, really exciting one at the end that just freaking blew my mind. Here we have a Koi stamp. G-Line DD2. Here we have a G-Line PD. One of those last ones was a G-Line DD2. This is a G-Line PD2. So a couple G-Line discs, which are great for the winter. This is a pair uh, to finish off the pair of the G-Line PDs. So another G-Line PD here. Next up we have a C-Line DD2. So a couple different distance drivers in this package here. Next up we have two Lumen Tactics. And I don't think I've thrown the Lumen Tactic, but it feels really, really solid. So I'm gonna have to throw one of these in the round. Pair of D-Line P2s. I know all about the D-Line P2, but like I said, I'm not gonna putt with these. I'll probably just bring one of them to throw. Second to last, we have two S-Line PD2s. This last disc is what really was like the icing on the top of the cake. I couldn't even believe that this was included. They included the prototype DD3, which I was just like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Like, how did you guys even get your hands on this? I wasn't even able to get my hands on it as a uh, Dismania ambassador. I was like, holy crap, how did you guys get this? They actually won one of those raffles that was a couple months ago where you could go on Dismania and get like a free raffle ticket and they won it and they're just like, yeah, it's just outside of our skill zone right now. We, we think that you'd really appreciate it. So they gifted it over to me and I just couldn't even believe it. I wanted this disc as soon as I saw it and it just hasn't gone out to the public yet and I'm just mind blown to even have this in my hand. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hold on to this. I'm not gonna bring it out in today's episode and I'm gonna make a first look video about this probably sometime next week. Thank you so much, Melissa and Mike. You guys are freaking unbelievable. It just blows my mind to see the support that I get back from you guys. So thank you so much for the support. 
and I am going to bag up all these discs and we are going to get out to Hawkins Woods. So just like that, the bag is ready to go and I will see you guys over at Hawkins Woods. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end because you never know, there could be a little bit of a re-giveaway here. So make sure to stay tuned to the end guys. Got the first signs of snow here. Got a little bit of snow last night, so hopefully the tee pads are pretty clear. It's like 38 degrees and pretty windy right now, so it's a little bit chillier than I thought it was going to be. So I don't think I'm going to be keeping score. It's going to be more of a fun round, just showing the flights of a bunch of these discs and just enjoying having all these brand new discs. So let's warm up a little bit with the P Model S and let's see how these nine holes go. So it's been a few years since I've thrown any MVP discs and this is an amp and I don't know the flight numbers, I don't know how overstable it is, but I'm going to treat it like it's overstable, so I'm going to throw it on a nice forehand line here. <laughs> that thing went dead straight, oh my gosh, that was crazy. I'm going to throw this crystal buzz, I'm probably just going to try to throw it straight, I'm really not going to try to turn it too much. But no warm-ups here. First back end of the day is usually pretty rough. Alright. So it's not understable, that's for sure. Gonna try to split the uprights here. Oh my gosh. These putters are so much shallower than I'm used to. It is so weird. Oh, it got a little backwards roll, but that was good. I'm pretty sure I hit that stump right there and rolled backwards because that was about to be absolutely perfect. Solid birdie with brand new discs. I usually throw an overstable flick right there anyways. I left that one a little bit right and it just kept going way more straight than I thought so that's going to be way long. Let's see if I can get a putter there. We got the C-Line P3X here. Oh, a little low out of my hand. Not terrible though. I think this is like a 320 foot hole so nearly pin high with the P3X. It, it, it was good, it was just a little bit low out of my hand. Let's go! Alright, couple birdies so far, can't complain. I think that's going to be solid. P2. Wow. I never thought a P2 would be more overstable than a buzz. So the P2 was probably about 40 feet pin high and the buzz ended up like 12 feet. This was a great shot. That might be a little bit pinched. I guess never mind about being pinched. I, I am directly in the middle of the second fairway, which is just great. Like a 
stump right here. Right in my So Alright, that was P3X and it, it clipped a branch on the right side which slowed it down just a little bit. That footing is just <laughs> too tough. <laughs> Little high. Okay. So it is really, really neutral. So that was a little better because I left it higher so it could glide out more, but kind of the same as the last hole. Just caught a little bit of a branch on the right side that slowed it down. Ooh. So it did like flip, but then it kind of just rode left. That wasn't as neutral as I thought it was going to be. The P3X is in a little bit of a better spot, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take the buzz here and see if I can hit like this little straddle out banger. Oh. So I'm going to try that MVP amp on a backhand here. When I forehanded it, it did flip up and just go dead straight. So now I'm going to kind of treat it like an FD, like just a nice straight flyer. Ooh. I definitely lost the flight with my own eyes, so you guys definitely lost the flight too. But I think it flipped up and just drifted to the right. straddle with no real power I'm probably like circles edge so uh, I would say I'm happy with that shot that was solid the wind decided to pick back up oh it is so chilly out here right now that was just a bad bid it is windy but player B so I'll be giving you the giveaway details now. So once again, thank you so much to Mel and Mike for sending out this care package. It's just unbelievable. I've been having a blast throwing these discs and getting the flight paths down of new discs that I've never thrown. And I can't wait to do that DD3 first look, probably next week sometime. But giveaway details are, I'm gonna do a Discraft giveaway and a Discmania giveaway. So the Discraft giveaway is gonna have one Undertaker and one buzz, and to enter for the Discraft giveaway, you need to hashtag Discraft in the comments and subscribe to the channel. And the Discmania giveaway, I'm not gonna tell you what the discs are in honor of the mystery box season. So there are gonna be a couple Discmania discs here, but who knows, I might throw in a couple extras that I didn't talk about in the video. So hashtag Discmania for the Discmania mystery box and hashtag Discraft for these two. And I'll draw the raffle in a couple days from now and I'll make a pinned comment with the winners. And it's just nice to be able to give back with stuff that was given to me. So thank you so much for all the support. Hashtag Discraft for a chance at these two. Hashtag Discmania 
for a chance at a little bit of a Discmania like mystery box kind of. So thank you guys so much for the support. Let's finish up these last couple holes. First throw with a G-Line PD2. Not really the hole for a PD2, but we'll see how it goes. It is crazy windy right now, so maybe it'll help. It wasn't terrible, but it is going to finish hard left, probably into the crap. Wow, that was actually solid. I wasn't expecting it to, I, I don't know. I thought it was actually just going to keep riding, so I didn't even really throw it that hard so that it would stall out and come back. And I think I'm going to be looking at a birdie putt. feels so good in the sun when it's not windy. That feels so nice. So hole nine's tee pad doesn't really have a good spot where I can put the camera to actually see like good flight paths. So I'm just gonna throw some putters from here. It's probably 200 feet straight, a little bit downhill. Anyone who's been following the channel for a little while will recognize this spot as the spot that I had the, uh, the tomahawk tilt shot for the trick shot challenge because this is exactly where I threw that as well. So I've only been putting with this all day. I haven't even thrown it yet, so. Okay, I guess, I guess it's pretty solid. <laughs> actually gave a little run. Oh, yank it. Oh, okay. That right there is called Huck Squad Karma. I yanked that and it got a little kiss and then it just snuck through everything and it's parked. Also not a good throw, but got a little kiss off the ground. So I think we're all putting there. wraps up that cold and windy like my hands are so cold right now once again thank you so much to Mel and Mike for the package thank you to the Huck squad for just supporting me for the last however many years it's just been a crazy ride so hashtag this craft hashtag this mania drop a sub as well um, we're so close to 10,000 subs and this giveaway can kind of help push us over that boundary trying to get there for the new year so if you're not subbed make sure to drop a sub and I'm feeling extra generous, so I think I'm also going to help out the Prodigy Boys as well. So this is just an insane video. Three different giveaways, hashtag Discraft and a sub for the Buzz and the uh, Undertaker, hashtag Dismania for like a little Dismania mystery box, maybe a couple of these, maybe a couple of ones that I already have, and hashtag Prodigy for this pair of Ace Line P Model S's. I'm just giving back a bunch of this stuff back to you guys, so thank you so much for the support. I'm going to get home, I'm going to edit this, I'm going to warm up, and I'm going to go to work tonight. So thanks again guys, keep eating your vegetables, hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving with your family, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.